In this tutorial, we will explain the difference between pages and posts. Think of pages as pages in a book. Once that book has been published, those pages never change. Now think of posts that are published to your website as news articles that are published in a newspaper. Each day the newspaper is published, new news articles will appear. So now let's browse through John Townsend's Stress Tips website and we can demonstrate how John has published pages and posts. Links to pages usually appear on the general navigation bar or links list on the website and here we can see that John has pages titled about us, contact us and if we click the about link the page will be displayed and it's a static page where John describes to his visitors who he is and what his website is about. It's a static page. It rarely changes. Now if we navigate back to the home page we can see that John has been publishing posts and the last post that he made was on the 21st of April. Now posts are published in a chronological order. That is to say that the last post appears first on the website. Now if we scroll down the page we'll see that John also published a post on the 20th of April and this post has been shoved down the page by the post that was made on the 21st of April so think of the post that was made on the 21st as Stress Tips latest news item and if we scroll down the page we can see other posts that were made earlier. So just to recap, pages such as the About page are static pages that are usually navigated to from the general navigation bar. Contact Us is a good example of a static web page and the posts are like the latest news items in a newspaper or the latest diary entry and posts are also filed in or listed in categories to allow visitors to find your posts and your content that's published on the post easily they're also archived by date and usually the recent posts are listed on the home page. So that concludes this tutorial on the difference between pages and posts. The best way to learn and grasp the real difference is to start publishing your content and very quickly you'll start to grasp the real difference between pages and posts.